Hello and welcome to Active and Healthy with Gina, the show to promote healthy aging for our seniors. So I hope that you are seated comfortably at home. I hope that you have got off your sofa because you want a nice firm chair with firm legs. You want to be able to sit up straight. Ideally, you want to be able to be barefoot. If it's too cold, it's okay to have slippers, but absolutely no need for shoes. And we're going to do some exercises today. It's going to be only 10 minutes. So I want you to join me as soon as the music starts. We're going to start working on our joints this morning. So let's get going. So just get these feet, little gentle movements. And you always move within your body's motion, your body's range, whatever's comfortable for you. Maybe you've got a hip problem, knee problem, shoulder problem. So this is just to get these joints nice and eased up. So we're just moving the shoulders, same time as we do the legs, getting everything going together. All right, so up onto the toes, drop the heels, hands or the shoulders, we're just going out and back, out and back, out and back, out and back. Nothing too difficult, anybody can do this. Maybe you've got a grandchild sitting beside you, they can do it too. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, these exercises are easy enough for anybody. In and out. A little quicker. Push. Just got to keep everything moving. All right, we're just going to roll the hands in a circle. And just the slower, drop with the heels. And a big circle. So we're doing more movement with the shoulders. And Done four forward, let's take four back. And back the other way. Keep tapping these heels as well. Coordination. Tough for all of us, because you're thinking how many different things we move at once. Arms here, up and down. Up and down. Up, down. Now we're going to take one hand and one leg in and out. Out to the side and back. Room to be able to stretch out your hands, stretch out your legs. In and out. And a few on the other side as well. We've got to be able to balance up the body. Keep going till the next song starts. Just making sure we're balanced on both sides. Lovely. Okay, the next one's going to be working on stretching out our spine. So we're going to have the hands here. Oh, I think we're going to work on our legs first. Sounds a little bit slow for the spine. So I'm going to make us work these hips, knees, and feet with a little kick out in front of us. So kick, 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 and point to the opposite toe. Every time we work across the body, we're working right left brain, which is good for our brains as well. This is why this is a brain health fitness program. And kick to the corner, out, out, kick, 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 and kick it, kick it. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Back to the center for a little march. And we're gonna now tap and go side to side to side. We just want, imagine you're drawing a little rainbow in the air. Side, 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 side. Just little ones. And let's change sides, change legs. Tap, up and over. So we're just drawing a little rainbow. Maybe you're showing off to somebody and you reckon your leg can go, oh, a little higher. Maybe not. Little taps. Tap, tap, tap. And we're going to take one leg out and just cross it in front of the other. A bit quicker with the music. Makes this hip work a little harder. In and out. In and out. Change sides. Cross in front. So one leg should be closer to you. But find your speed. Okay to do it slower. That's too fast, you can take it slower. But this is only 10 minutes. 10 minutes of these exercises. Every single day, you won't believe how much better you can feel. Keep going till the music stops. No excuses. Very good. Okay, I think the next one might be slower, in which case perfect for the spine. 
So let's have hands out in front of us. We're just going to stretch out as if we're reaching across a table, a high table. So stretch these arms. Bring the shoulder blades back together. Out and back. Lovely. Out and back. And you can rock back a little on your heels. Makes you be working on your clenching your core at the same time. Last one. Taking the hands here. We're sliding to the side. Your head and nose. Following the hands. Little gentle turns. Never force your range. Maybe you can only go here and here. That's okay too. But if you can do a bigger stretch and go round and round and round and round. Also good. One more each side. Hands down by your side. We're just going to dip out of the waist and let one hand slide up towards the armpit. Reach down. See, you don't need to get down the gym, have all that expensive lycra, not be feeling comfortable because maybe you're a bit overweight. You can be doing this in the comfort of your own home. Just 10 minutes. That's great. We're just stretching side, side, side. One more each side. Lovely. Okay, the next one is all for our hands. Very, very important to keep dexterity in the wrists and in the fingers, particularly as we age. So we're just reaching out as if we're grabbing something, almost like a tiger, and a snatch, 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 snatch. I wonder, imagine we're having to grab something behind our necks. So behind us, behind, behind. Different angles than what we're used to doing. And both hands to one side. All to one side, and then the other side. Got to balance the body. One side not an easier than the other. Turn up, hands up, and then clench them. If you're squeezing, checking how ripe an orange is. Squeeze. So imagine the whole hand is squeezing. Squeeze. We're going to use the wrist as if we're going to open jars, so turn. One of the things that gets weaker as we get older are our wrists. We need to keep them mobile. And the other hand. We don't tend to use the other hand when we're opening jars. Good practice. And now try turning them the other way. If we were going that way, turn them in, in, in. Using a different set of muscles again, you can feel that. Let's stretch out these hands, stretch the fingers, close, stretch, close, stretch, close, stretch, close. So mobility in the hands, the fingers, and the wrist is so important. And just tap each finger. So thumb and middle finger. Thumb and the ring finger. And the little pinky. Shake him off. It's amazing. Just a few minutes using hand exercises. They might feel a little cramped up. So our last exercise for today is just going to be shaking. This is a very, very important exercise for releasing tension. And we all get tense and stressed about different things. So we just want to release tension. It's in the myofascia. Now that is the web-like substance underneath the skin and above the muscles. So when we feel stiff, sometimes it's because the myofascia is stiff. So if we shake it all out and we can shake everything, we feel more comfortable. So just shake your leg. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that leg. Shake, 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 shake. Now, nothing wrong with holding the leg and just swinging that knee in and out. Shake that knee. Just in and out. And you're going to hold that knee and wriggle the ankle. It's not a very flexible joint. But heck, we can shake everything, including the ankle, just here. Because the whole idea is moving those things we don't normally move. Other leg. Up, check the leg first. Whole leg. Shake, shake, shake. Shake. 
Shake, 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 shake. Hold the leg. Swing that knee in and out. In and out. How about the ankle? Ankle. The ankle swinging. And shoulders. One shoulder up and down. And quicker. So it's a great one just to get out of bed and be like a little puppy. Just shake, 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 shake yourself all over. That's how easy 10 minutes of Active and Healthy with Gina is. It's our session of Ageless Grace for the day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I want you to go, take a little break, grab some water, and we will be right back with you after the break. Welcome back to Active and Healthy with Gina. I hope you enjoyed the session at the beginning, that you did your exercises, that you have taken breath, that you've got yourself some water. And it might also be a good idea for this session to maybe grab, grab pen and paper. I'm going to be discussing today for our today's topic, nutrition. Why? Because the goal is that we want you to be healthy as you age. So, where do we start? Well, for me, I'm going to start with the biggest example in my life for good nutrition was my mother. In the 70s, I'm going to be giving away my age, but you know I'm 60, so that's okay. My mother opened the first independent health food shop in the UK. She had always had a passionate interest in nutrition right from the time of the war. So she started reading the very early books about what defined good nutrition. And so she started introducing to the household brown sugar, out went the white brown bread. She started making her own fresh whole wheat bread, uh, eating more salads. She would make her own yogurt. She would germinate mung beans and seeds. All those things that we now see in the supermarkets and in the shops that we kind of think are uh, new and modern. Well, she was doing this uh, almost 50 years ago. So that was the environment in which I grew up with the importance of understanding that we are what we eat. If we could put in an awful lot of junk into our bodies, our bodies don't function properly. So I saw that growing up. I had that personal experience of what it was. Uh, there was a, some resistance, I have to admit, when you're used to eating uh, white sugar, white bread, and all those processed things, to ha suddenly have them disappear. But she made a great effort to introduce us to things that really tasted good, and uh, you feel good when you eat them. So that was my background when I got started. And what I'd like you as we start today, because some people ask even simply, well, what is nutrition? Well, nutrition is what provides the cells of our body with food in a form that it can use. So essentially, if we think about it, what we put into our bodies, our bodies is going to use. If we put in too much of the wrong stuff, quite simply, it's the reason that we get overweight. So. Obesity these days is one of the biggest issues and the biggest problem. Quite simply because people eat too much processed food, too much junk food, and the body gets used to it. I was introduced to a great book by a man called Gary Taubers, and the book is called Why We Get Fat. And one of the things that book gave me was an understanding of what it is that the cells do, that they become like magnets to the foods that we love. So if you have a tendency to enjoy carbohydrates, a tendency to enjoy sugars, and who doesn't? I'm one of the world's biggest chocoholics. What I know after having reached 60 years of life is that there's not enough chocolate on the planet to feed my chocolate craving. So I really do have to limit what I do. So I understand what it is that what I take into my body is going to impact my body. Because I struggled with my weight from the age of 18. I went on my first diet weighing only 58 kilos. But we tend to look through, um, even then, televisions, magazines, it's the peer pressure, particularly on young women, that they have to weigh as little as possible. So I went on my first diet, uh, I lost my first few kilos, I went down from 58 to 55. But hey, guess what? My body was now used to certain things that it was taking in, you go back to your old habits and old routines. I then went up to 60, lost weight again, went down to 58, went up to 65, went down to 
50. I think you see the pattern, and I think this is probably true, maybe for many of the viewers, that you may, like me, feel that you have experienced a real problem with yo-yo dieting. So what I know, having been in the health and wellness industry for the last 22 years, is that many people do not understand what the difference and importance of good nutrition is, what we should be eating, and what we should be avoiding. So whatever your age, I would like to give you uh, encouragement to know that you can lose weight and you can be healthy even as you get older. You do not need to give up. One of the first people I helped with the nutrition program that I then followed uh, was my parents. My dad was 80. My mom was 67. So I wanted to help them lose weight. And my dad got on this program uh, that we were working with. He lost 13 kilos. My mom lost 10 kilos. And they both had great health up till the time that they passed away. So I want to encourage you to know that you too can start putting in some of these good habits right now and start making some of these changes. So quickly to share the quote from Gary Tauber's uh, book, Why We Get Fat. There was one simple little sentence in it that uh, was a real eye-opener for me. He said, we don't get fat because we overeat. We overeat because we get fat. So if you are somebody who feels they are overweight, that you have fat cells in your body that um, are obviously very attracted to all the wrong stuff, then I want to give you hope that you can make some changes. Because in the last year, I lost over 20 kilos. Uh, the little bit before that, I'd lost a previous five. So in total, it's now over 25 kilos. So if I can do that at 60 and be keeping it off, and managing it and creating a whole new lifestyle for myself. I know that I can teach you and show you how to do the same. But part of it starts with understanding what are the six key nutrients that the body needs. So as I said, these you might want to write down. I don't take it for granted if I'm speaking to someone who already understands these things, then okay, this section isn't for you. But what I do know is that an awful lot of people don't understand what is the basis of nutrition and you may also want to know that um, with what authority I speak to you. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, but I do speak to you as someone who has lived uh, with a family. As I said, my mother had the first health food shop. I used to work in that shop age 15. I got to learn about nutrition from a very early age. In the last 22 years, I've worked with a major nutritional company and every year have attended major conferences and I'm trained by the top nutritional doctors in what is good nutrition. So I do have a very, very good uh, understanding. Technically, I talk as a lay person. So just take on board what resonates with you. So most of it is common sense, but sometimes what we say, uh, it may seem sensible, but it's not always the most common thing that we need to do. So what are the six key nutrients that the body needs? Well, the biggest building block and one of the most important ones is protein. And sometimes people say, well, what is protein? Well, all the meat forms, meat, uh, chicken, uh, lamb, pork, fish. So those are some of the, the key basic staple main nutrients, uh, protein nutrients that people understand. Then of course, nuts. So healthy nuts though, ones that are not roasted and salted. Peanuts are Yes, a source of protein, but they're incredibly high in the wrong type of fat and they're high in salt. So if you want to have nuts, the best nuts to have are actually raw ones and particularly raw almonds are really, really good for you. Eggs, cheese, dairy, all of those are um, consisting of protein as well. There are various legumes and beans that are protein sources, which are great for people who are vegetarian. And of course, soy and soybean is a major source of protein as well. You've got pea protein, rice protein. Uh, these days you can even get rice milk, almond milk. But if you stop and take a look, and it's one of the things I'll talk about, are the labeling and the nutrition laws. You will see that they have very, very little protein in them. So one of the things I want to advise you and we'll talk about is to start looking at the nutrition value of products on labels. So we're going back to those six nutrients. We've covered protein. Another key one is carbohydrates. So again, what are carbohydrates? Well, we know that there are good carbohydrates and bad carbohydrates. Our body needs the good ones and not the bad ones. 
If you are sitting like I was, feeling that you are overweight and you have got too much body fat, and particularly too much belly fat, which is very, very unhealthy for you, that is the visceral fat, the internal fat that is around the organs. This literally leaks top leaches toxins into the body which aren't good for you. So you really need to be conscious that you are what you eat, what you're putting into your mouth is going to affect this wonderful machine that is the human body. So I want you to keep it as healthy as possible. So carbohydrates come from all sources. Uh, we know that they're in vegetables and proteins, but primarily what we know and what we hear as the unhealthy ones are going to be those refined carbs. So bread, rice, uh, potatoes, pasta, so particularly all those white carbs uh, aren't great for you. So fiber is an important part of carbohydrate, but you need good fiber. You need fiber that comes from uh, whole wheat, bread, brown rice, and from healthy beans, those kinds of things as well. So most people do not get enough fiber in their body. We need uh, 25 grams of fiber most people don't get that. It's one of the reasons people get digestive issues, they get colon issues, they get constipation issues. I meet a huge amount of people, both male and female, young people, who have problems with regularity. So uh, fiber is absolutely critical in our diet. Uh, we also need healthy fats, we need vitamins, we need minerals, we need water. But obviously, along with nutrition, because it's part of what the body needs, a key part of what we need, and actually the biggest foundation, is going to be exercise and physical movement. So it's one of the reasons we start these sessions with our 10 minutes of Ageless Grace, which just proves that 10 minutes of gentle movement can really help the body. We do encourage you to be more active. Uh, this machinery that is the human body is meant to move, so keep moving. Don't forget that water is one of those key nutrients. We need to hydrate our bodies. We need to drink, on average, between two to three liters of water a day. So please make sure you do that. You may need to start small. You may need to be adding in bottles of water in your fridge, thinking, okay, here's a half a liter, here's another half liter, and just be going with that. So I was talking that you also need to take a look at the nutritional value and start looking on labels. This is a huge subject. I think it's going to be one that I'll be expanding on because it really is about education. Educating yourself on what you're putting into your body is what's going to help you get the best result for having your body work better, feel better. So that's what we want. Active and Healthy with Gina is all about staying healthy. It's about understanding nutrition. It's about understanding that you are what you eat. So start taking a more conscious effort to look at the proteins, the carbohydrates, the fats, the vitamins, the minerals, and the amount of water that goes into your body. Keep up with your 10 minutes a day of ageless grace or as often as you can do it, and you will maintain a far better of health, level of health that you may have right now. So that's it for Active and Healthy with Gina this week. I'll look forward to seeing you next week and have a good one.